Hey, what's up, geeks? Welcome back to the channel. Again, we will talk about the D-Link DIR X3000Z Wi-Fi 6 Mesh Router. So this device isn't just any ordinary router. It is packing serious power thanks to the dual-core processor and lightning-fast connectivity. Plus, it's fully equipped with the latest Wi-Fi 6 technology. In this video, we are shining a spotlight on how effortless it is to set up this router. So without further ado, let's get started. You can set up the device via the web management method. If you have experience setting up a router before, this could be very easy for you. Otherwise, it would take you for about 5 to 10 minutes to do so. It is important to complete the setup for us to proceed in the setting up of the mesh network later on. Step 1. While the modem is off, connect the one port of the router to the LAN port of your modem using the Ethernet cable. Your modem should be provided by your internet service provider. Step 2. Connect your computer to any of the LAN ports in your D-Link router using another Ethernet cable. Step 3. Connect the power adapter to your router and turn it on. Likewise, turn on your modem. Them. Wait for one minute and when you see the blue LEDs in your indicator, then your computer is now connected in the internet. Step 4, we will use the router's web management tool to configure your network. You can do this through wired or wireless. For wired process, your current setup is now ready for wired configuration. Otherwise, if you want a wireless configuration, all you need to do is connect your Wi-Fi device to your router. The SSID and password can be found at the back of your router. Open up a browser and type 192.168.0.1. The router's web management tool will then be loaded on the page. Step 6, scan the username and password also found at the back of your router and click login. You can now set up the router's name and password. Toggle smart connected if you want to have the same password for the 2.5 GHz and 5 GHz band. So after changing your router's name and password, you are now ready to go. And right now we are ready to set up your mesh network. But of course you need to have two or more routers or compatible routers in order for you to set up your mesh network. After the initial setup of your primary D-Link DIR X3000 router, get your second router working by plugging it into the wall outlet using the power adapter. Once your secondary router is turned on, simultaneously press the mesh button located at the top panel of the router on both the primary and secondary router. Once the LED indicator turns from blinking to steady, the secondary router is now working and it will have the same SSID and password as your primary router. Alternatively, if step 3 process is complicated for you, you can also connect your primary and secondary router using the Ethernet cable to automatically configure your mesh network. Once the mesh indicator becomes steady, your mesh network is ready. That's it for today's video. Thanks for joining and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!